The calm of Oso is a far cry from the chaos when tons of earth and mud broke loose and killed 43 people. A study of that slide is included in Joseph Wartman's new research published in GeoHealth. Is Oso still teaching us things these years later? We're still learning a lot from Oso. The UW study takes a look at what people can do to help survive a landslide. It's not the size of the landslide that will determine whether you, uh, whether you survive or not. It's the actions that you take should a landslide occur. And Wartman found the best things are relatively simple. Before a slide, he says, be informed of nearby hazards, talk with those that have lived it, and move high occupancy areas like bedrooms upstairs or to the downhill side of a building. And if you find yourself in a slide, move away from the threat, find a smaller interior area like a bathroom, open downhill doors for debris to escape, avoid heavy furniture that could move, and try to climb to a second floor or elevated area. Even a countertop of just a couple of feet can make a difference, huh? That can make a big difference. Often these don't reach to the top of the first level. They might be just uh, three or four or five feet high, and that would bring you above that. And after, he says, make noise and continue to move to help rescuers find you. All of these things give you a better chance of making it out alive. I think ultimately this work gives me hope because, uh, because there is a path out of some of these potentially deadly situations. And I think what also gives me hope is that it's not expensive to implement any of the things that we've found here. These are all proactive measures that one can take on their own. Michael Crow, King 5 News.